In this video, I'm going to show you how you can put footage of yourself in the corner of the screen. This is perfect for educational content and reaction videos. So let's get into it. So once you're inside of Adobe Premiere Pro and you've got your footage in the timeline, as you can see in my example, this is the video that I want to add into this video. So I've got this video here. This is just a talking head and I want to take this and put this in the bottom left corner because I'm providing commentary about this specific frame. So what I'll do is I'll first just put this up onto video layer two and we'll drag the footage underneath that onto video layer one. And then from there, there's many ways of doing this. So the first option is the circle method. So in order to do the circle method, you want to go ahead and select effect controls, go down to opacity and we'll select create ellipse mask. Then you can just decrease the mask feather and then move the circle on top of your face. Now, if that looks a little bit too intense, if your face is just like this and it's a bit too intense, then you can always just go mask expansion like this, pull this down so that it's not off screen. So keep it around here. Then you can just scale that down and then just move that into the corner of your video like this. And there you go, you've got the perfect picture in picture effect. So that's me talking about this specific frame. Now you can take this one step further and add a border around this. And the way that I do this is to go into the project bin. We'll go new item, color mat. We'll press okay on the color mat and select a color of your choice. I'm going to select white in this example. Press okay and we'll drag that onto video layer two. Now we'll drag our video footage of us onto video layer three. Move the color mat over to the left make a cut there. And then we're just going to create that same ellipse mask again. So we'll create the ellipse mask. We'll move this just over towards the face cam footage. We'll zoom in just so we can get really precise here. And as you can see, if I deselect the mask, so I click off this, you can see it's not quite working. So first of all, it's soft around the edges. So we need to pull the mask feather down to zero. Instantly, that's much better, but it's a little bit too tall. It looks like an egg rather than a circle. So we'll go into the mask and we'll just pull this point in just to shrink that down a bit. And we'll pull the bottom one up and that should be almost there. There you go. That looks great. Of course, if you need to make any more adjustments in your example, then go ahead. But once you're happy with that, you can see you've got your footage in the bottom left corner of your frame with a border around. Now, the great thing is you can actually move this wherever you want. So you can move the video into the center, for example. You can also put the color mat into the center just by moving the position. You're not specifically locked to putting this into the corner. You can put this wherever you like. So that is the perfect circle picture in picture. Now, if you didn't want to do a circle effect and you wanted more of a square, then there's two ways of doing this. You can either do the same method and go into opacity, create a four point polygon mask, and then you can just basically add this around your subject, increase the mask expansion. And then of course you can change these points as well if you wanted. Or alternatively, rather than doing the same method as before, I find this method's quicker for a rectangle or a square one. We go into effects, search for crop, drop crop onto your footage. Then you just want to crop the left. So we'll go maybe 30% on the left. We'll go for right is 30 as well. The bottom can be, we'll try 30. Yeah, that's perfect. Then we'll decrease the scale down and we'll move this into that bottom left corner. And we've got our perfect square reaction video in the corner. So we'll play that back so you can see. There we go. That's me talking in the corner of the frame. Of course, you're more than welcome to create a color mat and create a square mask or crop that as well to have that border effect. It's completely up to you. But there you go. That is how you take footage of yourself talking to the camera and put that in the corner of your screen. But like I said before, this is perfect for educational content, gameplay videos, and it's also really useful for reaction videos. And there you go. Thank you ever so much for watching this video. I really do appreciate your support and hopefully I will see you on the next video. See you there.